Hey everyone, this is Joe at the National Weather Service in Billings. Let's discuss the upcoming winter outlook and a little about our climatology. We often look at the tropics when it comes to seasonal predictions in an attempt to see if there are any conditions out there that may influence weather patterns. We are likely heading into an El Nino episode for the late fall and winter. Historically, El Ninos, which have global impacts, tend to enhance the Pacific jet stream across the southern part of the United States. At the same time, storminess has decreased across the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies. As a result, El Ninos tend to lean on the warm and dry side. However, the upcoming El Nino is not expected to be strong, and there are other factors at play. More on this a bit later. Here is the official winter outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, or CPC, highlighting the months December through February, which is the time period when El Nino impacts are greatest. There's an increased likelihood of warmer and drier conditions in our region, but remember these are probabilities and they highlight potential departures from normal over the entire season. Take a look at the pie charts. For temperatures, there is a 51% chance of above normal, 33% chance of near normal, and 16% chance of below normal in the Billings area, Consider rolling a weighted die. A favored number is most likely to come up, but it won't be rolled every time. Seasonal predictions are similar. Looking at precipitation, there is a 42% chance of below normal, a 33% chance of normal, and a 25% chance of wetter than normal. Make sense? I also want to point out that when it comes to precipitation, the biggest impacts in our region are on west-facing slopes of the mountains especially west of the Continental Divide. Eastern slope locations like Red Lodge and Burgess Junction actually average more precipitation during El Nino episodes. And finally, if you're interested in, a, in an interactive map where you can see specific percentages for your location, check out the website shown. And now a few important reminders. Seasonal predictions do not say anything about specific weather events or how severe these, event, these events may be. A warm and dry winter will still have periods of winter storminess. Also, our climatology in the northern high plains is built on extreme weather. It is normal to have rapid weather changes during the course of the winter. And finally, although CPC has focused on El Nino for the upcoming winter predictions, there are other pieces to this puzzle. Polar sea ice, ocean temperatures, snow cover, wind are just a few other factors that play a role. For fun, I wanted to show the state of polar sea ice. This is a recent sea ice analysis. The white area shows ice coverage as of October 15, while the orange line shows where it should normally be this time of year. You can see there is a lot of open water on the north coasts of Alaska and Russia. Less ice and a warmer ocean mean more moisture availability in the atmosphere, which can mean greater precipitation potential with any weather systems dropping through Canada. We have seen an overall decrease in sea ice over the past couple of decades. Here is a plot of winter snowfall at Billings since 1990. The blue line represents December through February snowfall and the brown line is the trend over the 28-year period. The red dots highlight the El Nino years. There is a definite upward trend in winter snowfall since 1990, regardless of El Nino, and I believe this is due to the greater atmospheric moisture availability during the midwinter months. Most years are above the 30-year normal of 22.8 inches, some significantly above. Let's look at the outlook again. Although El Nino is the driver behind the overall hedge towards warm and dry in our region, I believe there will be opportunities for upslope snowfall and cold weather with fronts out of Canada. If this can build up a solid snow cover during the midwinter, and this is something we've seen in some of the past few winters, then there could be extended periods of below normal temperatures. I'll say it again, be prepared for the extremes during the upcoming winter. That's all I have. I hope you're excited as me and my kid that winter is nearly upon us. Be sure to check our website at weather.gov billings 
and monitor us through social media. Thanks.